Hi, good evening, everyone. So what we are going to go ahead and do today is again revision of microeconomics from the point of view of CVT. So CVT के हिसाब से हम microeconomics की preparation शुरू करेंगे और जो हम आज करेंगे वो होगा indifference curve theory. What we will be doing today is called the indifference curve theory. ठीक है? देख लेते हैं एक बार ये indifference curve theory क्या कहते हैं? So to begin with, let us try and understand what is an indifference curve. All of us know what an indifference curve is. But before we go to what an indifference curve is, I would like to go ahead and give you some names. So basically, the indifference curve theory, it was actually used by, first of all, Hicks. Hicks is an economist. And Hicks came up with this theory uh, he presented a comprehensive version of this theory in his value and capital book in 1939. 39. In 1939. So value and capital may 1939 may Hicks ne is first time present. Kiya tha. He presented it for the first time in 1939. Now, post this, uh, there was a major revision made to his theory. And it was called a revision of demand theory. A revision of demand theory. And this came in 1956. Okay. So basically, what happened? The first concept was concept tha, it was based on the concept of cardinality. But later, we realized that this is not a cardinal concept. This is an ordinal concept. We are cardinality ordinality we have revised right in the first one shot so cardinality it's not a cardinality uh, concept ye cardinal concept nahi hai instead it's an ordinality concept ye ek ordinal concept hai ye ek ranking concept hai to mere ko different bundles ko order karna hai aur dekhna hai ki kiska kitna order hai kaun kis rank pe stand karta hai and accordingly mujhe apne indifference curves draw karna hai to is case mein एक चीज जो क्वेश्चन आता है कि इंडिफरेंस कर्व्स जो होते हैं वो किस ऑर्डरिंग के बीच में होते हैं सो देयर आर टू काइंड ऑफ ऑर्डरिंग्स टू टाइप ऑफ ऑर्डरिंग द फर्स्ट इज कॉल्ड वीक ऑर्डरिंग एंड द सेकंड इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रांग ऑर्डरिंग Weak ordering and strong ordering. But a weak ordering wo hota hai jis mein hum weakly prefer karte hain ek good ko dusre good ke upar. So jo hum apne books mein padte hain x r y. Matlab x is weakly preferred over y. Jis mein ye bhi ho sakta that x is preferred over y. Ya ye bhi ho sakta hai that you are indifferent between x and y. This is weak ordering. Either x is preferred over y or you are indifferent between x and y. This is weak ordering. Strong ordering hota beta just may x is strictly preferred over y. x p y. x is strictly preferred over y. Chicken. Now let's talk a little more about what an indifference curve is. So when I draw an indifference curve, a well-defined indifference curve. What is an indifference curve? All of us know that. So if I take good x here and I take good y here, different combinations of x and y that give me the same level of utility. Alag, alag combinations x or y. Okay, this is point A, point B, point C, point D. These have different amounts of x and y. 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 So different combinations of x and y that give you the same level of utility, that give you the same level of satisfaction, jo aapko same satisfaction dete hain, usko bolte hain indifference curve. So I am saying that utility from bundle A is equal to utility from bundle B equal to utility from bundle C, equal to utility from bundle D. 
इन सब बंडल्स पर यूटिलिटी बराबर की है दैट बिकम्स एन इंडिफरेंस कर देर आर मल्टीपल एग्जाम्स ऑफ द इंडिफरेंस कर फर्स्ट एजम्पन द फर्स्ट एजम्पन बेटा इज कॉल्ड रैशनैलिटी रैशनैलिटी से इज कंज्यूमर इज रैशनल रैशनल मतलब क्या कंज्यूमर को पता है कि उसके लिए बेस्ट क्या है कंज्यूमर को पता है कि वो अपने यूटिलिटी को कैसे मैक्सिमाइज कर सकता है सो रैशनैलिटी से इज दैट द एम ऑफ कंज्यूमर इज टू मैक्सिमाइज यूटिलिटी ही नोज विच बंडल विल गिव हिम मैक्सिम यूटिलिटी कंज्यूमर का एम अपनी यूटिलिटी को मैक्सिमम करना है दैट्स रैशनैलिटी सेकेंड ऑर्डिनालिटी तो हम जो भी बंडल्स की बात कर रहे हैं ये सारे बंडल रैंक बेस्ड बंडल्स हैं ये कार्डिनालिटी पे बेस नहीं है आई डोंट केयर वेदर ए गिव्स मी यूटिलिटी ऑफ ट्वेल्व एंड बी गिव्स मी टेन और वेदर ए गिव्स मी वन ट्वेंटी एंड बी गिव्स मी हंड्रेड वी डोंट केयर अबाउट दैट वी ओनली केयर अबाउट रैंकिंग हमें सिर्फ रैंकिंग से ही फर्क पड़ता है हमें इससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि यूटिलिटी है कितनी वी डो नॉट केयर about utility derived we only care about the ranking of the bundles okay come to the third point diminishing mrs what is mrs beta mrs is the slope of indifference curve slope of indifference curve what is mrs equal to mrs is mux upon muy what is mux how utility changes as x changes what is muy how how utility changes as y changes but think about this we already have a rule of diminishing marginal utility ye humne first one shot mein pad liya we have already studied this as part of the first one shot and what did we study we studied that as you increase the consumption of the commodity its marginal utility diminishes as you increase the consumption of the commodity its marginal utility diminishes ye hum pad chuke hain beta now just think about this as i move from bundle a to bundle d what am i doing i am increasing the consumption of good x so good x consumption is increasing as i move from bundle a to bundle d what am i doing i am decreasing the bundle uh, consumption of good y but when consumption of good x is increasing the marginal utility from good x is decreasing diminishing marginal utility when consumption of good y is decreasing ye decreasing hona chahiye is decreasing the marginal utility from good y is increasing to inka jo ratio hoga numerator is decreasing denominator is increasing what will happen to the fraction beta fraction will decrease so mrs will decrease so i have the concept of diminishing mrs okay beta write down the next point consistency and transitivity to beta transitivity ye kehta hai that if x is preferred over y y is preferred over z then x is preferred over z agar main x ko y ke upar prefer karu y को z के ऊपर प्रेफर करूं तो मैं x को भी z के ऊपर प्रेफर करूंगी बेटा देर आर मल्टीपल काइंड ऑफ आईसीज सो लेट्स राइट डाउन टाइप्स ऑफ आईसीज द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ आईसी इज अ वेल डिफाइंड इन डिफरेंस पर जो हमने अभी पढ़ा 
И это йога. This is convex to origin. But there can be other kind of ICs too. The first kind of IC that you can have other than this is a straight line IC. Beta ye kab hota hai? This is in case of substitute goods. Agar X or Y substitutes hai, तो उनका जो यूटिलिटी फंक्शन बनेगा जो इंडिफरेंस कर्व बनेगा वो ऐसा बनेगा सब्सटीट्यूट गुड एग्जांपल क्या होते हैं वी नो दिस टी एंड कॉफी सो देन द आईसीज विल बी स्ट्रेट लाइंस एंड द यूटिलिटी फंक्शन विल बी एक्स प्लस वाई यहां यूटिलिटी फंक्शन होगा एक्स टू द पावर अल्फा वाई टू द पावर बीटा ठीक है जो हमारा थर्ड जो हमारा थर्ड काइंड ऑफ इंडिफरेंस का होता है थर्ड आईसी दैट वी हैव दैट कैन बी द एल शेप आईसी सो प्लीज राइट डाउन किंग आईसी दीज आर बेटा इन केस ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स एंड इन दिस केस माय यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इज मिन ऑफ एक्स वाई and we draw utility functions like this so what are complementary goods better give me an example quickly it can be tea and milk maybe jo do cheeze saath use kar sakte ho tea and milk these are king dices okay so case 4 concave ic beta this can happen in two cases concave ic first If both are bad, bad goods. मतलब जैसे let's take an example. एक जगह ले लेते हैं COVID nineteen और pollution. दोनों ही बुरे गुड हैं. So I will have a concave IC. My saturation will be at origin. I want to consume minimum of the two goods. So that will be at origin. Second beta, this can happen when the two goods can't be consumed together just for example let's take the example of milk and wine to isme aata hai hamare paas corner solution milk aur wine ka kya ho gaya milk bhi positive utility deta hai wine bhi positive utility deta hai but i cannot consume milk and wine together so if you cannot consume milk and wine together you will either be consuming here or here at corner ya only milk loge ya only wine but not both and kaun sa loge is case mein milk or wine whichever is cheaper please don't say wine always whichever is cheap to jo bhi cheez sasti hogi whatever good is cheaper you will consume that but you will only consume one of the goods either milk or wine but not both is that clear okay but now let's talk about the properties of ics so properties of ics first beta ye well defined ic okay jo sabse upar banaya hai what is the first property beta it is downward sloping what's the second beta it's convex to the origin convexity humne dekh liya hai acha convexity ko mathematically kaise dekhte hain wo main abhi discuss nahi kar rahi hu but we have discussed this in our classes right how you can check convexity right so you remember mathematical bhi thoda sa samajh mein aana zaruri hai Okay, so the third one is ICs cannot intersect. Two ICs कभी भी intersect नहीं कर सकते हैं. They cannot intersect. Fourth, ये बहुत important point है and this comes in MCQs. So ICs are not necessarily parallel. 
to each other. मतलब बेटा ये मतलब है इसका कि जरूरी नहीं है कि आईसी हमेशा ऐसे ही हो विद द राइट गैप I can have my ICs like this also, beta. IC one and IC two. They don't have the exact gap. Do you see this? The gap is less here and more here. And here, more or less, the gap is the same. This is what I have tried plotting. So both are correct, beta. I want you to think, खुद से सोचकर आंसर लिखना है चैट विंडो में. When is this possible? When do you think that ICs will not have exact gap between them? Give me an example. Write it in the chat window. It's a very important question. Hai. Iske baare mein soch ke write the answer. Okay. But the next property is higher the indifference curve. We know that jitna upper IC hoga, utni utility zada hogi. More the utility. so higher the ic the more the utility okay and sixth point last one ics cannot touch the axis but ic kabhi bhi kisi bhi axis ko touch nahi kar sakta uska ek reason hai kyunki ye well defined and difference curve hai ek example ke sath samajhte hain let's take an example so utility function is x to the power alpha y to the power beta beta if this is my ic then each point on ic should give me the same level of utility this has positive amount of good x and y to jaise x ko 1 le lo aur y ko 4 le lo jaise alpha beta suppose 1 hai to mera utility function is x into y so when x is 1 and y is 4 beta my utility will be 1 into 4 which will be 4 so my utility is 4 but just think about this point beta Here, x is something. X can be any positive number. Let's say x is four. But y is zero, na? Y is zero, na? So if y is zero, then my utility will become zero. But if your utility is zero on one point and four on other point, then you cannot have them on the same indifference curve. You cannot have them on the same indifference curve. So therefore, I cannot go ahead. And have one point on the axis because in that case I will not have this and this on the same IC on the same IC that will not be true, right? I want all points to give me the same level of utility, but the moment I intersect one of the axes, my utility becomes zero, and it will not be equal to any positive number. Yaha, 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 yaha. So it cannot touch any of the axes. Okay, beta. This was the division on indifference curve. Next time we will revise the uh, budget line and we will continue with the consumer theory. Okay, thank you.